everyone, welcome to the eFresh.com Flowers, Plants and Bulbs News. My name is Milen and these are this week's headlines. Inbred bumblebees less successful. Montana herbicide damage. Scots could grow cure for malaria. Cultivating a happy work life. 17th Flower Festival in Phuket. Declining bumblebee population are at greater risk of inbreeding, which can trigger a downward spiral of further decline. Researchers have provided the first proof that inbreeding reduces colony fitness under natural conditions by increasing the production of reproductively inefficient males. A team of researchers sought to investigate the effects of a generation of these inbreed males on the fitness of bumblebee colonies and found these are extremely detrimental. Inbreed males are produced at the expense of industrious females, but unlike these female workers, they do not contribute to colony growth and productivity. The researchers conclude that inbreed males may act as indicators of the genetic health of populations and that their detection could be used as an informative tool in bee conservation. Montana State University Scutter's Diagnostic Lab has received numerous reports in recent weeks of a condition that causes leaves on affected tomato, other vegetable and flower plants to curl tightly to form fiddle heads. Stem twist and fuse to form abnormal shapes. Symptoms occur on newer foliage or the entire plant depending on when exposure occurred. There is no treatment available to cure symptoms. If soil or compost is contaminated, it cannot be used for vegetable crops or landscape plantings. The damage can be caused by one of several classes of herbicides. These herbicides can persist in the environment for years, if not decades. Sources of contamination have been found in mulch, compost, manure, grass clippings, water and groundwater, or residual from past use on pastures, which is common in new housing developments. Scottish farmers could soon be growing a yellow-flowered scented weed, which could save the lives of tens of thousands of people infected with malaria. Scientists at East Malling Research in Kent said they are now able to extract double the strength of a special product produced by sweet wormwood to treat the mosquito-borne virus. They hailed the breakthrough and other work which should allow the weed to be grown in colder climates such as those in Scotland. The drug produced from the wormwood extract has proved to be 100% effective against malaria compared with the 74% recorded by Kinin. Researchers have successfully grown plants on 494 acres in southern England. New techniques to extract and purify the product from plant material are being developed. Along with the free coffee and biscuits, indoor plants are often casualties when recession-damaged companies look for cost savings. However, degreening the office is a big mistake according to Ambius Asia Pacific. They say creating greener spaces indoors means healthier and more productive workplaces and improved customer environments. Ambius is the world's largest provider of indoor plants and cites research from around the world to back up their case against office desertification. Australian researchers have found that office plants improve air quality by absorbing gases emitted by plastics and other petroleum-based products. A British team looking at stress levels found they were reduced when pot plants were present. The more boring the activity, the greater the soothing effect of the palms in the corner. The Phuket Provincial Agricultural Office organizes the 17th Flower and Decorative Plants Festival from July 24th to August 2nd this year. The event is organized as a venue of producers and buyers to meet each other and can be compared to showrooms for flowers and decorative plants. The event will feature agricultural exhibition, contest and displays of flowers and decorative plants as well as other kind of community products like Phuket pineapples, souvenirs and processed seafood.
In addition, food, festivities and entertainments will be included in the event. The highlight of the event will be orchids and heliconias. Heliconias are famous tropical plants of the Provence used for a decorative purpose in spas, hotels and restaurants in Phuket as well as over neighboring province. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com flowers, plants and bulbs news. See you next time. Bye.